let's take a look at this table that we have here. Now, if we look at it, we have two signs here, okay, multiplied by the two signs here, okay. Now, how do we look at this uh, in a bit more uh, specifically? Positive number times a positive number, or positive signs times positive signs, will give me a positive outcome. Okay, so the sign is positive. Okay, and also a negative sign multiplied by a positive sign will give me a negative sign. Okay, so that's how we look at this table. So that's how we operate this table. Uh, but one little uh, note that we can take away from here is that when you multiply by two signs that are the same, then we get a positive result. Okay, so positive times positive will give me positive. And again, negative times negative, the same signs times together, will give me a positive result. Okay, so that's what we're working with. Now, obviously, the converse of that, when you multiply by two signs that are different or opposite in sign, it'll give me a negative result. Okay, so positive, negative, they're different in sign, then they will give me a negative number. Okay, so knowing this, Let's try and answer a few questions. Question number one, find a red box if two times that red box equals negative two. Well, okay, if we just look at the numbers, the two and the two, we know just in value that the red box should be negative one or positive one, okay? So positive one or negative one. Okay, so now let's try and figure out which sign it is, see, see if it's positive or negative. Well, let's have a look at the outcome. It's a negative number, okay? So negative two. So what did we say before about negative results? The two signs that are multiplied together should be opposite in sign, okay? So two signs that are different will give me that negative result, okay? So just knowing that, we know the answer here, the red box should be negative one, okay? So again, to re-emphasize, Two numbers have to be opposite in sign to give me that negative uh, result, okay? Okay, let's have a move on to question number two so we just get a bit of a better understanding. So we have finding the red box again. If negative two times that red box equals negative 16. So first of all, let's just determine the number first, so the value. Well, we know two times 8 equals 16, so the red box here should be either 8 or negative 8, okay? So now let's determine if it's a positive number, okay, or if it's the negative one. Okay, let's have a look at the outcome. Oh, it's negative 16. So in other words, the sign is negative. So how do we get negative results? Okay, we only get negative results when the two signs are opposite, okay? So the two signs have to be different. So, well, we know one of them is negative, then that means this one should be positive in order to get that negative result, okay? So, that red box should be positive, meaning the answer here is positive 8, okay? So, this is how we answer these sort of questions, okay? It is actually very straightforward, okay, once you get the hang of it. So, let's have a look at question number 3. So, if the red box times negative 2 equals 8, what is that red box? Okay, so first of all, again, negative here and positive there. Okay, then what should the sign be? Okay, it should be negative. In other words, they should have the same sign for me to get a positive number. So the answer here is simply negative 4. Okay, so negative 4 times negative 2 will give me a positive 8. Okay, I hope you guys are understanding this. Let's just have a move on to question number 4. So again, find that box if the box times negative 3 will give me negative 6. Okay, first of all, we know the number is 2, right? So 2 times 3 is 6. We just got to determine what the sign is. Okay, so negative 2 or 2. Okay, well, what sign times a negative will give me a negative? Okay, well, in other words, what, what, how do we get a negative result? The two signs have to be opposite. Okay, so in this case, the answer here is just a positive 2. Okay, so positive 2 times negative 3 will give me a negative 6. Okay, so they have, this, they have different signs to give me that negative answer. Yeah, so let's have a move on to number 5. Now we have negative 3 times the box give me a 
positive 6. So negative 3 times something will give me a positive 6. Okay, so we know that the number should be 2, right? 3 times 2 is 6. So let's try and figure out if it's plus 2, okay, or positive 2, or negative 2. Well, we have a negative sign here, and we don't know what that sign is, and the result is positive. So how do we get positive results? The two signs that multiply together should be, uh, should have the same sign, right? So the answer here is negative 2. Okay, so I hope you guys followed on uh, with these questions here. Okay, so the real big thing to take away from here is uh, the two signs multiplied to give me what sign? Okay, now that little trick that we used is two signs that are the same will give me a positive all the time, and two signs that are opposite in sign will give me a negative sign all the time.